soul inside. It's like gorgeous. Hey guys! So today I'm gonna do an open box video on the tool that I got a while ago on my birthday last year. And the reason I haven't opened it is because um, I have always wanted to like do a proper like open box article or video to like introduce this tool because I, I absolutely wanted to have this tool for a while and um, the first time I saw it was at a restaurant like Dinah and somebody was showing me the wines I have and he actually introduced this tool to me it's actually <clears throat> Coravine so what this is, it's a tool that um, helps you to pour the wine out without actually opening the cork so it can pr preserve the wine longer to keep this freshness longer. Um, usually I don't drink wine that has been open for more than three days, sometimes four, depending on the kind of wine and then how it reacts to oxygen. Some wine oxidizes faster, some wine doesn't. But Cora Vine, it will help you to prevent that process from happening. It will basically delay the process of uh, wine getting oxidized. So it's perfect for a lot of restaurants when they sell a wine by the glass. They use Cora Vine to preserve the wine longer, to keep it fresh longer. And then some people get it at home because they only want to have like one glass at night. And then this basically keep the wine tastes like the way it is as when you first open it. So let's go. It's, the box looks like this. I'm gonna open it. So inside it's like garbage. Let me see how do I open it. <laughs> it's not it's not the easiest thing out so the one my friend got me my friend got me is Coravine model 2 and look at this box Ta -da! oh my god by looking at the wine by the glass really makes me want to have a glass of wine right now let's see so the first one I got is Holly and Manuel, how to use this? Getting started kit. And it has a card to tell me that I can join the Coravine Club now. And it has another card case. Um, what does it say? It has a card that says stop opening, start tasting. It's, it's really fun. So I have another box here. Those are the logo Coravine. And inside it's. Oh, it's actually a needle. The needle for you to poke it through the cork, I think, before you pour it out. For language questions or warranty, visit blah blah blah. And it has a cloth in this little box. And, oh, it has two of the gas. Basically, I think as the gas going to the bottle, um, the wine comes out. How the science works, I will have to look more into it. But yeah, uh, it comes with two of the tanks. And ta -da! Scared me for a second, oh my god. So, I finally see what it looks like. It comes like this. So, ta -da, look at this beautiful thing. You can see clearly. For a vine. To the side and I think this is where the needle goes and this is where the gas goes. So let me read into the manual and then 
start see how do I use it. <clears throat> so, caution. Damage or flawed wine bottle may break when pressurized. Use provided carabine wine bottle sleeves to reduce risk risk of injuring from broken glass. Ah, I guess this is what the cloth is for. So the gas is argon, if that's how you pronounce it, argon. And let me read more into it. So it has a whole intro section on how to this tool, then we read into it. So, first, they tell me to. Um, first, they tell me to. I'll do it this way. They tell me to remove this little thing here and to put the bottle in. Just put this right in and then put it right back. I don't know if you saw, this little thing just pop and they tell me to leave. I have to remove this thing and it already comes with a needle. It's copper but it's like right here. I don't know if you, oh, you can see it this way. So it already has a needle in there. I believe I don't have to do anything with it. You do this. It opens this part where you basically is gonna clip the neck of the bottle and then there's a needle right in there. It also has a sign to be careful like don't poke your hand. And so on the tool, so I actually have a bottle of wine with me right now. Um, I'm just gonna try opening this wine and pour it out to show you guys. So the wine I have is a Greek wine. The, the type of grape is Sino Marlboro. I haven't tried it before. I got it a while ago because I went to a shop that only sells Greek wine, and then Greek wine is not like easy to come by. That's why I bought it. I bought like three or four different bottles with like four different uh, grape um, variety from Greek. So it's a so it's. It's unfiltered too, so hopefully it's really good. And it's uh, the vintage is 2011. So let me try opening it. So it's supposed to clip, and then oh, I forgot I need to cloth the bottle first. In case the bottle is, you know, <clears throat> the bottle was has like this damage, and then the glass break on me, and then it hurts my hand. So here's what my wine bottle is. When I open it, so so I didn't remove the foil. I didn't remove the foil. Just a little thing. Um, I didn't remove the foil because I believe you don't have to. And then from the picture, it doesn't seem like the foil was removed either. So I'm just gonna try without removing the foil, and then let's see what happens. So what I do is I let the neck touch this part here. This um, it makes the needle right in the center. So I'm just gonna So as I move so this handle thing here, it moves up. So what it tells me is Quick press and release. You can hear it. Quick press and release, and then I should poke into it and then release. So as I pour the wine, I should keep pushing the handle. Can you guys hear it? As I release, you can hear the gap. I'm gonna pour it. Just 
So um, as you can see, there's a hole here that I can pour it from. And I'm just going to press it and see what happens. So, so I just press it once. I didn't keep pressing it. And then well, let me And this is how much it poured with one push. One more time to show you guys. I just want to see how much. So I just push one more time. And I feel like this time um, I pour more wine with the push. So with two push, I have this much wine in my glass. And I just want to show you the color of this wine. It's a little bit garnet. It's like uh, what I mean, like brownish. It's only it's from 2011. It's uh, 19 right now. So it basically has been it's been um, eight years, and that explains why the color is a little bit brownish. So as a uh, red one ages, the color gets a little bit brown. I don't have a white piece of paper with me right now. Next time, I will teach you guys how to do proper wine tasting that I learned from my education. And so this one is kind of garnet, it's kind of brownish, which shows the sign of age. And that's usually a little trick where when you see people pour you wine, you don't know much. You can see a little brownness in there. You can just ask them, oh, has it, is, it, is it a little bit older? Is that why it's very brown? It's really, and people will be like, oh, how do you know? And it usually like trick people a little bit that to think that oh, we know a lot about wine, but it's just by the color that like, you can tell. Anyways, so I think this is actually really easy to use. And love to see how to remove it. They say to remove it after pour, to pull it out. By hold, make sure you hold the bottle so that the whole thing can come up together. You pour, you pull, not pour, you pull, and then you open the clip and you take it out. And that's so there's still a little bit of wine on, on top of it. I'm just gonna take it out and then. And let me show you. So you can see there's a, a little hole on top of it because the needle went through it. But let's just see. I'm gonna um, flip the bottle upside down. Let's just see if the wine comes out. Just to test and see, you know? So I'm gonna do it. I'm shaking it. Not even like nothing has come out, and not even like it's not even wet here. So I guess like the needle actually just went through the cord, but did not damage the cord much. And okay. it's really bad that to shake wine, so I can see the all the bubbles on top now. So to clean this, clean this hole here, you rinse water in it, and afterwards you press this handle here again to here and release, then you can put it back to um, to where it was and where you want to keep it. Usually I saw people, you just leave it standing. So when I went to the shop, they just leave it standing like this on their table. There we go. So this is my video about Cora Mine. The first time using it, I would say it's pretty I thought it would be a little bit complicated with the needle, with the gas, but it's actually super easy to use. You saw me, I literally opened and put a gas in, 
and the needle's already in there. So I just poke through the wine, push it down, and then I press this handle, and the wine comes out. So, 